and welcome to a new reading vlog. I look a bit of a mess. It is a Tuesday night at 10.01. Um, I was gonna just wait till tomorrow to start the vlog but I had meant to start it today and this has happened like when I'm getting to reading today at 10 p.m. I haven't read a whole lot uh, the last couple days or at least I didn't read a whole lot yesterday. On Sunday I finished my reread of Prisoner of Azkaban which I really really liked and I do want to move on to Goblet of Fire, just not right this second because that is a longer book. And then I do, I really want to read Order of the Phoenix. That's the one I'm feeling like reading and I just have to get through Goblet of Fire before I can get to that. Anyway, I'm going to read some other stuff right now. Um, I also finished Off Base uh, by Annabeth something, I can't think of her name, uh, last night, which was just a romance book, but it actually had a lot more substance than I expected. I ended up giving it a four out of five stars just because the characters and their development was really, really strong, and I actually really enjoyed it, even if I didn't understand any of the, like, Navy SEAL military type stuff lingo that was in it, because that was kind of the theme of the book. It was like a military romance, and I didn't understand any of that but the characters were really really strong. Next I'm picking up one that I'm kind of nervous to read and that is A Question of Holmes by Brittany Cavallaro. I have loved the first three. I've read the first three in the last month and a half or so. Um, and I read A Study in Charlotte in June and it's August um, and I read the other two last month and they're so good and I'm so excited to see how it ends but I'm also very nervous to see how it ends so this will be fun i'm very very excited this book is also really short which stresses me out a little bit but it's fine also this cover this like the color is so bright and i love it and then my other i have so many reading updates um my other book that i'm reading is Carry On by Rainbow Rowell, which is a reread and I'm listening to the audiobook. I didn't listen to any of that today, but I'll probably listen to some tomorrow while I get some chores done and loving it. The audiobook, I I don't know, I'm torn. Like I do like the audiobook, but I just feel so connected with these characters that I want to be physically reading it, but also I want to be listening to the audiobook so I can get other stuff done because it's a reread anyway. I am also doing it as like book club. We had a really great discussion about chapters 1 through 21, just talking about how this story is set up and how we really we jump into into the middle of Simon's story. We cut, we're coming in at the end, but yet she still builds this character development of the past so, so well, and I really enjoy that. Why well, I'm here, since I'm already rambling so much, um, I thought I would share my two books on my TBR. There's a third one, but I think I put it away. I did. I put it back on my TBR shelf, but um, one of them is Since You've Been Gone by is that Morgan Matson. I think that's by Morgan Matson. I want to read that this month because it's actually one I'm borrowing from a friend. I would like to get it back to her before I go back to school but we'll, we'll see. <laughs> and then I want to read Autobiography by Christina Lauren which is also a reread. I just really want to read this. Like I just, just there's something in my brain that's just yelling at me to reread this right now. Um, and we're going on a little staycation this weekend like staying by the pool da, 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 and I think that's what I'll bring there because this is just like a perfect pool read. And then the other book I'm going to read this month, at least planning on it, is Carval by Stephanie Garber because um, my friend on Instagram, Bookish Devin, she has been nonstop raving and this has been on my list this summer anyway because I'm, I get sort of Night Circus vibes but also a little bit of Stalking Jack the Ripper just because of the era and I think it'll be really really good. But I am going to go start this book and I will update you tomorrow. Hello, it is Wednesday morning. Thought I would do an update of what I read last night of A Question of Homes. I got um, 127 pages in. I read the first 11 chapters and I'm loving it. I probably will finish the rest of it today because I have no self-control. The mystery is sort of subdued at this point. It's not the biggest part of the story, um, but it is a bit intriguing. It's um, a lot less high stakes than the other ones, but I think that's what these characters need at this point because they have been to death door and back and it's a lot for a couple of teenagers. What I like about this one so far is it is more character driven and I really like that and these characters like I love them so much so I was definitely fangirling while reading last night. Um, Charlotte and Jamie have found this sort of 
way to fit together and yeah they're still figuring things out but they really they're working together as like detectives and they work together as a couple f fairly well and they just really bounce off each other and they're always not always a lot of the time on the same page and they're figuring it out and I really really love it one thing I which I get it it's a YA book but I'm really sick of the fade to black scenes let's like actually see what happens but anyway and I think Charlotte is just has grown so much and interestingly enough I think this whole book is going to be Charlotte's point of view which I kind of like so the first two were 99% Jamie's point of view the second one was split down the middle between the two of them and this one I think is going to be all Charlotte and I really like that. I like seeing the world from her point of view and just seeing how she analyzes things and how she's growing and how she is noticing herself when she does stuff that's maybe not the greatest. I really love it. I love it. I'm gonna go read now. I have a couple chores to do. While I do chores I'll probably listen to Carry On for a little bit. But yeah, this book is good. <laughs> I will update you hopefully later today. Hello, an update. It is Thursday. It's Thursday. Um, I did not finish a question of Holmes last night. I fell asleep because I didn't start reading till pretty late. But I only have 80 pages left, which shouldn't take me too long, so I'm going to sit down and finish it. Very excited. The mystery has definitely taken off a bit. It escalated from a kidnapping from a year ago to a murder right now, so that's not fun, but it's fun. And it's taking a lot of interesting twists and turns, and I cannot wait to keep reading. Hello, so it's a little later. It's 4.30, and I just finished a question of Holmes, and it was so good. It was a lot. The mystery, like, was very, it was subdued, subdued in this one compared to the other ones, because the other ones were big Moriarty mysteries. This was a lot more character-focused, and the mystery ended in not at all the way I expected, but I didn't hate it. I think I liked focusing on the characters more in this one anyway. The last chapter was like, oh, they've resolved everything, little nice cute things are happening, and then it was like, went downhill, and I was like, no, this, it can't, what's happening was not good. And then the epilogue, I was like, I don't know how I feel about this, it's weird. And then the last couple pages is like this is perfect. It's a perfect ending for these characters specifically and for the growth that they have had t to experience and everything and it was just really really good. I I just don't like that this is the last one. Like it was a perfect ending. It was very open but it works for these characters and for this story. I just could read six more of these and be fine. <laughs> I, it, she does like repeatedly like say this is the last one, but like what if it wasn't? What if she were just like two more, six, I mean six books or three more make it a nice seven, a seven book series? I, yeah, I wish there were more. That's my only qualm. And that's not because any of them were disappointing or left me wanting more in a bad way. They left me wanting more in a really good way because I love characters and the writing so much. I just, I love Charlotte and Jamie so much and who they have come to be to each other, to themselves, to the world, and it was really good. I guess I'm just gonna dive right into autobiography now to distract me from this. I knew I shouldn't have read this so fast, I just consumed it, but yeah. I read this whole series this summer and I'm, I haven't done reading a whole series back to back like that in quite a while so that was really fun to do and I'm glad I did because one of my favorite series of all time now so that is my update five out of five stars for this one and I'm gonna go start autobiography because I'm kind of liking just laying around and reading <laughs> Hello, so an update. It is Saturday night. As you saw, I spent the day at the pool, so I'm very tired, but I'm going to try and finish autobiography tonight. I'm about 200 pages in, which I, means I have about 200 pages left. We'll see, because I also have a video to edit tonight, um, and I'm really tired from being in the sun. I definitely got a little sunburned, but it's fine. I had a really nice little weekend. Um, but yeah, I'm really loving rereading autobiography. It's just such an interesting concept to a story and I really really love it. I'm 
really appreciating it reading it a second time as well um, I'll do a full wrap up on my thoughts when I finish because I really love this book hello so an update it is Monday morning and I did in fact finish autobiography by Christina Lauren last night and I just absolutely adore this story it is so interesting to read about this different kind of world that I don't think a lot of people see. Not a lot of people are aware of what the culture in like Mormon religion is, but where I grew up, Mormons are like the most that there is here. Like at my high school, at least half the people I knew were Mormon. And I'm not, I'm an atheist, and so growing up around that was really interesting, and I see my, like, I see myself in Tanner and being surrounded by this a lot just because of that. And I just think it's a really interesting delve into what religion does to your life and how it affects your decisions and who you are and your struggles a lot, because, I mean, Sebastian he has always been a part of the church and but now he's realizing that the church doesn't really want him to be a part of it if he's going to be a you know gay that's why i think this is such an important book and yeah it's cute and it's fluffy and i love them together but it just really covers some really good topics and i just really really love it five out of five stars i just i love this book so much and i'm glad i reread it i could read this quite a few times over and still be like learning stuff from it and still loving how cute it is and I just think it's so so good. If you haven't read Autobiography you should read it because it's really it's it's an incredible book and I love it. Next I'm actually going to pick up another contemporary and that is Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. I have never read a Morgan Matson book and frankly I don't even know what this is about. Um, but my friend read it and I'm borrowing it from her and she said it was a really nice quick read. I'm gonna try and finish it by Wednesday so I can return it to her when I see her. Um, we'll see if that happens because it's a pretty long contemporary. It's like 450 pages or so. But I'm tr gonna try and get 200 pages done today so I can read 200 pages tomorrow and be able to give it back to her. We'll see if that happens. But yeah, that is my update. I'm going to go take some pictures for a friend of mine, and then I'm going to come back and read. So I will update you later. Hello, an update. It is Tuesday. I read the first 60 pages of Since You've Been Gone last night, and I have decided to DNF it. And I don't DNF books very often. I'm just not feeling this one. I just think it's maybe meant for someone quite a few years younger than me. Like, this is more like a... 14 year old book not like a 21 year old book and there are plenty of younger books that I read like I love middle grade books but this one just I didn't like it the characters were very two-dimensional and just the premise of the story I was like really this is what we're gonna do so I just decided to put it down and instead I am going to finally pick up Red White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston is that her name both of the, my holds at the library for that came through um I had originally put a hold on the audiobook and the ebook and just was gonna see which one came uh through first they both came in at like the same time I am going to return the audiobook and I'm going to read the ebook of it and I'm very excited for that one that one has very good reviews and that's more new adult young adult new adult the characters are older and I haven't heard one bad review of that book so I'm very excited to start that hoping that'll be a pretty quick read too I will update you later tonight hopefully I will have started red white and wild blue and I will be loving it hello a quick reading update it is Wednesday now and I read 39% of red white and royal blues at like the first chapter I was like oh I don't know about this and then by the second chapter I was in love with this story I love Alex I think he is absolutely hilarious how he has come to terms with his sexuality is a bit odd like, it's comical in the way that it happens, and like, in parts it got a little serious, and I'm sure it'll be addressed more throughout the book, but <laughs> yeah, it was something else. I love, love him and Henry so much. 
Um, I think it's such an interesting concept that the president's son and then one of the royal princes have sort of found each other. I might try and finish like this whole thing today. I'm really really enjoying it so I don't see why I wouldn't. It's very funny and the characters are very three-dimensional and they're hilarious too. I think that's what I'm loving a lot so far is one, it's a really well-written romance. Steamy, fun, exciting, but also it's like a really funny book. Like the comedy is A plus and I love it. I'm loving it and I will update you later. Hello, so a reading update. It is Thursday and I have actually just finished Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. I have been listening to the audiobook for a couple weeks now. I was um, doing bits at a time based on Rainbow Rowell's like schedule that she did for the readathon. We uh, had just changed around the dates that we were doing with those like split up of chapters and then today I was catching up to what today's discussion points would be and then I was like you know I'm just gonna finish the whole thing so I listened to the rest of the audiobook. I only uh, had a couple hours left and the end is just so good and like because the part where I got to it was just before Baz and Simon's first kiss and I was like I I mean I have to keep going right so I finished the audiobook and I absolutely adored it. I am so excited for Wayward Son one, just because I am in love with the fact that this book is called Carry On and this sequel is Wayward Son. That I I love that so much. Like one, it actually fits the story and I think it'll be a really interesting concept to apply to the sequel. And the other thing is I love that song because I'm a huge Supernatural fan. I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars. It was a really fun reread. I can't wait for Wayward Son to come out in a little bit. And I just, I love my Simon and Bess. I'm still reading Red, White, and Royal Blue. I am now almost 70% in. I was going to finish yesterday and I just didn't get around to it. I'm still really enjoying it. It's a very well written, um, fun romance. I'm sort of waiting for it to maybe get a bit heavier. Like, there have been little bits where they have to talk about more serious things because of who they are because it's the president's son and a prince of England they sort of have to start to discuss what this means to publicity that kind of stuff and but other than that I feel like they're not actually like these two characters are not looking at how they feel at all like they have not had a discussion about who they are to each other and they have been together for seven months at this point in the story so I'm just waiting, like waiting for the other shoe to drop kind of thing. I think that there needs to be more of an emotional discussion in the book. And I also understand that that is like a character choice that Alex is not quite looking at that yet. And my other, I don't want to call it a complaint, but my other thing that I don't love so far about it is that the pacing of this novel is just really weird to me. I don't know what it is. I can't, like, I don't fully understand the timeline. I recently read it was like oh they've been together seven months I put that together but it just the writing feels doesn't feel like it's equal to the pacing I don't know how to explain this I'm making no sense but the pacing is the best word I can think of to describe what I'm a little eh about is that it just doesn't flow super well and we kind of just jump from one meeting to the next to the next like of them meeting up all over the world and nowhere are we pausing to actually reflect on what's going on. I think that's what it is. I don't know. I hopefully we'll finish that today too. Maybe I'll finish two books today. And I thought since I did finish Carry On, I will maybe pick up another one today. And see, I had a TBR. Am I going to pay attention to my TBR? Not entirely. I was going to pick up Carval by Stephanie Garber next. And I still am going to do that very, very soon within August. But I was just thinking yesterday, you know, I haven't read a Kingdom Keepers book in a while, so I'm going to pick up the fourth one. It is uh, Power Play. I just thought it'd be fun to pick this up. These are super fast reads. It's middle grade, huge font, huge margins. Um, so maybe I'll just read this in the next couple days. I just, I felt like a little Disney magic. So I'm going to read this and then I will move on to Caraval. This feels like it's been a really long update, so I will 
update you again later when I've actually done some more reading. Hello, Swan so Update. It is Friday morning and I have just finished Red, White, and Royal Blue. I really enjoyed it. I think I'll give it like a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I gave it a 5 on Goodreads, but it would be just a little half star down just for the pacing of the novel. Um, they did eventually in the last like 20-30% of the book did start to really delve into the emotional aspects of things and really like get to the nitty gritty which is the part I really really liked. Um, I just feel like they waited a long time to get to that point but overall absolutely adored it. I understand why everyone is raving about it and it was it was really really good and it was an incredible debut book as well. For now I'm now only reading one book which feels really nice to not be reading multiple books at once. Um, I'm only like 20 pages into the Kingdom Keepers book but I think I'm gonna go just lounge around and read because I don't have much to do today until later. Very excited to get back to these characters and do a middle grade. I haven't read a middle grade in a little bit and I'm very excited to keep going so I'll update you later if I read any more. Hello, it is Sunday. I just wanted to close out this vlog. Um, as you saw yesterday, um, we went and visited a college for my sister to go look at the campus. So we spent a lot of time in the car yesterday. So I was able to read quite a bit of Kingdom Keepers. I got to page 184. I'm really liking this one. Um, it's got a really interesting element of like betrayal in it and which sounds bad, but like it's it's good and I um I'm surprised why all the twists and turns so far because I really don't remember this book. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I'm hoping to finish it today or tomorrow. Um, it's fun to just dive back into a middle grade. Although these characters are a lot older now than I realize because they start at like 12 or 13 in the first book, but they're already 16. I guess I just lost track of time, but um, I'm really enjoying this one. Hope to get some more reading done today. I do have some errands and stuff to do, but um, yeah, so that's the end of this reading vlog. I hope you enjoyed. I upload videos every Sunday, including these reading vlogs every other week. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!